Dave, you've got some time this October. You can join Fred Werder and Bertha Hendricks on Age, a program for senior citizens in Fort Worth. This month, Fred visits Bertha at Connections Bookstore and the Senior Citizens Craft Fair comes to Fort Worth on City Video 45, Sunday at 4.30, Mondays at 4, Tuesday at 7, Wednesday at 1.30, Thursday at 10 o'clock a.m., Friday at 9.30 a.m., and Saturday 7.30 p.m., so there's no excuse for you to miss it on City Video 45. Six th 6.34, Paul, I was going to say. Well, I just started to, to say homecoming here at Eastern Hills, and, and what a bold homecoming opponent this is. You know, usually you, you schedule the worst team on your schedule, but Eastern Hills going after the top dog here in their homecoming game. Jackson scurrying. Tabor can't get loose. Jackson now tries to flip at the Tabor in all kinds of traffic, and he comes up with it. Brian Tabor comes up with the pass. Fantastic. He was grab. in all kinds of traffic there. There were three blue shirts around him, and Tabor was on the upper part. He was on the high end of the field. And as Jackson rolled left, Tabor came down the goal line and got himself into a position to get a pass. And a Tabor stands about 6'4, six, 6'5, six, and he uses his height right here to go up for this one and bring it down with his hands. He's well covered. Jackson hangs the ball up knowing that Tabor has the height advantage, and what a fantastic catch that is by number 87, Brian Tabor. And Brian Glennon tries the point after it's up, and it's good. And now we've got a ball game that's a 13-point ball game. Western Hills on top, 26-13, and the mums begin to wilt here at Clark Field. Well, not out on the field, rolling 